Welcome back everyone, this is the State of the Nation. Now last year, by this time, end of January, we saw that people in this country were getting frustrated and daily prot protests were mushrooming. First it was uh, due to the lack of supplies and then it turned out to be on the verdic uh, a verdict on our nation's leaders. Now in 2023, this year, we see similar protests in uh, countries like Peru, Brazil, China and now France. Now all these protests are aimed at one thing, regime change. This made me wonder, is Sri Lanka too a victim of such a regime change operation? And if so, who was behind it? Let's get more context to the, that story. Joining me now is a national security specialist and renowned author, Professor Rohan Gunradhan. Thank you very much, Professor, for your time. Uh, Professor, several regime-changing protests have taken place in the uh, in the recent past around the world. Now, most recently, one that we witnessed was from Peru. Now, do you think people everywhere in the world are genuinely unhappy with their respective governments, hence the protest, or is there something else sinister at play? Mahesh, the world is moving between order and disorder between stability and chaos. So we witnessed COVID. Then after that, we witnessed a global energy crisis, now a financial and economic crisis. So during this period, we have seen that the fringe parties have been very active in instigating protests to oust governments so that they can come to power. But what is important is for the public to be educated so that these social protests are not hijacked by political entities. In Peru, uh, Castillo, who was the president, was going to be impeached. And then what he did was he tried to dissolve the Congress. Now he's been arrested. And today, as a result of the continuing protests in Peru, Machu Picchu, which is the main tourist destination in that part of the world, tourism has been disrupted. So if we are going to maintain stability and security, it is imperative for governments to ensure that protests do not lead to further economic crisis and catastrophe, that it does not lead to uh, investors running away from a country. So maintaining stability and security is essential. It is vital. It is the lifeblood of the citizens of a nation. And if government is not attuned and oriented to these global developments, then certainly uh, the economies and the social stability will suffer. And we should not allow that. Absolutely understood, uh, Professor. Now, when comparing these protests uh, to what happened here in Sri Lanka, what are the similarities you see? Do you believe similar elements were at play in Sri Lanka and around the world? Certainly, we have seen in the Sri Lankan context, the protests were largely a result of the economic and the energy crisis the country faced. It is because the government leaders at that time did not understand the new domains of national interests which is to maintain economic and financial vibrancy, to maintain energy, uh, health and medical supplies, food and other essentials. So unless government leaders understand what is needed to sustain a nation, then from the fringe parties and even from the mainstream parties, people will protest and those protests can turn violent can cause a lot of damage and it can destabilize countries. So after the Arab Spring in 2010, we are seeing another wave of protests that the world is facing. And this is amidst geopolitical, uh, geoeconomic fragmentation. That is why we have to maintain a national security. We have to ensure that there is stability for Sri Lanka to economically recover. And during this period, if there is no understanding of all political parties, of all political leaders, certainly the country will not recover because tourists will not come here, investors will not come here, 
the country will move from an economic crisis to an economic catastrophe. Absolutely understood and uh, we should really do a, a separate program on this subject alone. We have to leave it at that. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, that was National Security Specialist Professor Rohan Gunratna. This is State of the Nation. Back in a moment.